Let's find the oxidation number for each element here in H3PO3. This is phosphorus acid. So when we look at H3PO3, there's no negative or positive. So this is a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So that's very helpful. For hydrogen, when it's bonded to a nonmetal like phosphorus, hydrogen, that's going to be plus one. So each one of these hydrogen atoms, that'll be plus one. We don't know the phosphorus. Let's call it X. And then oxygen is almost always negative two, except when it's bonded to peroxides or the more electronegative fluorine. So here it's bonded to phosphorus, so it's going to be negative two, each one of the oxygen atoms. So we know that all of this is going to equal zero since it's a neutral compound. We could just say three times the one plus X minus two times three, since we have three of these oxygen atoms here, that gives us zero. Then we have X plus three and a minus six. So X minus three equals zero. And we could say X, that's going to equal a positive three. So the oxidation state for the phosphorus here in H3PO3, that's going to be a positive three. If you multiply by the subscripts, add all these numbers up, you'll get zero. This is Dr. V with the oxidation numbers for each element here in phosphorus acid H3PO3. Thanks for watching.